Watch two Spartanburg County caregivers have been charged with physically abusing a man with special needs. 7 News reporter Scotty Kay has those details. Investigators here with the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office say they got a call from SLED after they say staff members at a home for adults with special needs reported that one of their residents had been assaulted. These type cases are hard to investigate because you've got a victim who can't help you. Back in August, investigators with the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office say a 39-year-old man was physically abused while staying at a community home for adults with special needs in Lyman. I know from personal experience it's hard for family when you have to think about putting your loved one uh, somewhere for care other than their own home. As a family member, when you put somebody in that type of facility, you're entrusting them with their care. And when that trust is violated, it's going to be even harder for you to leave them in that facility or seek another. Two caregivers at the facility, 23-year-old Ebony Hunter and 19-year-old Ty John Barner, were arrested on Wednesday and charged with abuse of a vulnerable adult and failure to report it. At first, they both tried to put it on each other uh, and deny their own involvement. Uh, as the investigation progressed, they finally admitted to both having a part in assaulting this resident. Investigators say the suspects injured the victim's left eye and ear using a stool and a belt. The shift that came on after them who noticed the victim's injuries uh, needs to be commended because they did what they were supposed to do and immediately reported. We went by the facility to see if they wanted to comment on the incident but were asked to leave. We spoke with folks who live nearby and while none felt comfortable going on camera, they told us they'd had small issues with the facility in the past but never expected anything like this to happen. In the meantime, Lieutenant Bobo says he's thinking about the victim and his family. Not only does it affect that victim, but it affects you know their immediate and extended families too. I hope this gives them some measure of relief. Uh, and also some sense of justice. Deputies say each suspect was given a $7,000 personal recognizance bond at an arraignment Wednesday night. In Spartanburg County, Scotty K, 7 News. The facility's corporate office sent us a statement that says in part, quote, we are outraged by the actions of these two individuals. Their intended harm to our family is a violation of our trust and impacts each one of us, end quote.